So the worm bin's over here. I mean, we could try and pull some yeah. out. There's some good chunk of them there. The compost piles, they're, you kind of have to maintain them a little bit more than a worm bin. A worm bin, you just throw your stuff in there. This is actually a system that's made by a guy in, in Oregon. It's called a flow-through system. What you do is you feed the top. The worms like to come to where the food is, so they come up to eat the food. And as long as you, it's got enough water in it. And then down below, there's a winch on this end. And then down here, another winch. So what you've got is a, a, a grate on the bottom of this whole worm bin. And you've got a blade that's connected to the winches. Pull the winch, the blade goes like this, and the castings all fall down through the grate. So it's called the flow-through system. It's really easy to operate. And the castings pile up down there, and then you take a hoe, and you pull the castings out, and you, we use them a lot for starts. We actually start our little plants with the castings. It gets a little cold here in the wintertime for them. They slow down their activity a, a bit. They still eat during the winter, so it's, uh, it's an all-year-round system. This is our roller composting bin. Material goes here. And then we also like to add a little bit of neutral material like shavings or straw to help absorb moisture and to keep the acidity down. We built these at the center. Because it's black, it, it heats up really quick in the summertime. The temperature gets up over 100 degrees. It's so quick, if you keep it turning, it's so quick, it'll, like, it'll, like two to three weeks, it'll be totally, totally done. Just periodically uh, turn it, just keep it rotating. Gets oxygen in there, mixes the material, so if there's like a clump of coffee, you know, it's not gonna end up just like half rotted coffee or mixes everything up good. Having the worms, I think it, it filters through the whole garden, frankly. 